Hi, I'm Clint Smith from Leica Geosystems. Today I'm going to talk to you more about our Rugby 600 series. Today's subject is the Rugby 620. Uh, this is a little bit better laser or a little bit more advanced laser than our 610, which is just a flat plane. The addition with the 620 is we now have the ability to enter a grade or add a grade to an X and Y axis. So I have the razor here running on our tripod. It auto leveled, the high alert is on, so if something bumps it or something like this, you'll know that it's been moved. But what I wanna do is share with you a little bit of how this laser is used. And this is ideal laser if you want to put in some kind of grade, if you're working outside and you wanna do some landscaping, maybe put a slope away from your house so the water runs away from the house, you can do this with the 620. You can add slope in either X, Y, or both at the same time. I'll show you real quick with the with X direction. Simply push the little level button one time, and then you push the arrow button goes up, and you can see from my little markings here, the laser beam is going up as well. And this is now giving me a grade in the X axis. You'll notice that the red light is on on the X axis. This means that this X axis is no longer auto leveling. In the green button over here on the Y, this axis is continuing to auto level. So this means that if anything bumps it, the laser will know. But if I want to now enter a grade in the Y axis, I push the button again one more time. The light will go off, now it turns red in the Y axis. The X axis will auto level, which means when it starts spinning on my chart over here, the beam will be back on the x-axis at zero, where I had it at the very beginning. So here it's zero, and here it's on zero. Now, a grade to my y-axis, and you can see when I do this, the y-axis is moving up, and the x-axis is staying where it was. But I said to you before, if I want to enter a axis or a slope in both axes, I can do that by pushing the button one more time. Now both axes have no auto leveling. And now I can use my up arrow to move the axis up on the X and the Y is already up where I had it. So now I have grade in two axes, which is perfect for setting outside on the corner of a piece of property and you have the runoff coming off the water, off the side of the house. If I push one more time, the levels will go back to zero on both axes, and it'll start spinning once the laser has auto-leveled again. And that's about how easy it is to do this. If you need to do some kind of slope or driveway or walkway that slilts down, you can do it with this laser in two directions, X and Y slope. And now we're back to zero again. I hope you learned something from this little video. It's a very short one, but hopefully you have some new tips or ideas on how you can use this in your daily routine. Thank you.